Marine Corps, Air Force, Coast Guard, and civilians. This honor ceremony symbolizes that they are with us still, the men from the 13th and the 307th Army Air Forces. Some in this room were very young when they went into combat. However, all Americans should never forget the brave men and women who answered our nation's call to serve and serve the cause of freedom in a very special way. I would like to ask you to bow your heads for just a moment of silent prayer in remembrance of those unable to be with us this evening. I'd like to explain the meaning of each of the items at this special table. The table is round to show our everlasting love and concern for the fallen and missing. The tablecloth is white, symbolizing the purity of their motives when answering the call to duty. The single red rose displayed in a vase reminds us of the life of each of our veterans and their loved ones who keep the faith awaiting answers. The vase is tied with a red ribbon as a symbol of our continued determination to account for all of our missing. A slice of lemon on the bread plate is to remind us of the bitter fate of those fallen and missing in a foreign writer of the book Unbroken. Uh, Mr. Zamperini, uh, who was featured in that book Unbroken, um, I think, Jim, didn't you have the opportunity to meet him? That's it. So we've had some correspondence with him, and I know Jim has correspondence with Laura Gildenbrink quite a bit. Since then, the 307 has also supplied data to um, Angelina Jolie, who is currently making a film about Unbroken and Louis Zachary, and that is due out in December of 14. Is that what we think? December of 14. It's filming now in Hawaii. So it's filming now in where? in Hawaii, so it's currently being filmed. So just be aware that this is the work of the 307 and this is what we do. We don't leave anybody behind. And we continue to search for our loved ones over there. So thank you very much. At this time, I'd like to turn the microphone over to Linda Norwood, who is your new 13th president. side of the globe. My uncle was a paratrooper, went in on those cardboard gliders in Normandy, was captured, spent 18 months in the Hilton, Hilton as he called it. He said, I got four bronze stars and still came out a damn private. <laughs> so there are high moments to them. On behalf of the 13th Air Force, we welcome all of you and hope you've had a pleasant stay here. And we welcome our guest, the 307th, who did a lot of work. Thank you, Donnie Bowie. And, um, you know, when the 13th Air Force meets, we always have a speaker and we had the same one a couple, three times, who was a lovely, very serious, because he wouldn't laugh at my joke about his uniform, oh my God, uh, Air Force officer, a high one, and he was unable to come here with us. And you know all those things about if one door closes, another opens, and Go, you can't go in the front door, go in the back door. And here we are in the 307. That's a program for us. And so, um, I don't know if God or the devil sent you, Don. 
Oh, God. God said he left his clerical collar at home. But we do appreciate your attendance. And, you know, unfortunately, um, some of us may not be here next year. And we want everyone to go away feeling that they're, they didn't have something to take home with them. I had to do this because Bill is too bashful to speak in public. Yeah. Cliff, 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 Cliff here? Cliff! Cliff isn't here. They're not 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 here.